Hey, Virgo Sun Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for November 2nd, 2021. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can do that at tarotbarbie.com. Let's get it. Virgo's coming with the Tower, the Two of Swords, and the Five of Swords in reverse there. You guys might be going through a little bit of hard times at the moment here. Virgo's coming in with the Tower to the Four of Wands in reverse. You just don't feel like everything is balanced at the moment. Make sure you guys are, in fact, staying grounded at this time. You need to go outside and walk on the grass. Make sure it's safe. No socks, Virgos. And literally get grounded. Allow the Earth to help heal you and help you get grounded. Go hug a tree. Go sit down in nature. Do what you need to do to get grounded, Virgos, because the turmoil that you guys are going through right now, it is definitely shaking your world up. And you guys are trying to find the balance, trying to find, the, the, you guys are literally trying to figure out how to stay balanced through all the chaos that you guys are going through in your life at the moment. With the Five of Pentacles in reverse, you guys are going to get out of it. It's not going to last forever, this tower for yourselves. It's not going to last forever. Um, once you guys kind of like take the blindfold off of your eyes and kind of like don't look at everything just directly. You have to look at everything as is, specifically as literally as is. Then you guys are going to be able to get out of it with the Five of Pentacles in reverse and you guys are going to start feeling a lot better here, okay? Some of you guys may just want to give up, surrender, not want to do anything anymore. But with the Hermit card, it's saying here, reflect, Virgos, reflect, go go within, start reflecting, Virgo energy, Hermit, Five of Cups in reverse. You guys are going to be able to finally get out of the sadness and depression that you guys may have been going through. But going within and kind of sitting by yourself for a little while is what's going to end up helping you guys out the most. <clears throat> If you don't know how to sit alone, it will make life very hard for you. It's good to kind of go within and be by yourself at certain times. So that way you guys can kind of like stay balanced, figure things out for yourselves, find out what your next move is. Um, I just saw angel number seven, 17 Virgos. The angels want you guys to... To, to to get ready for the next for your next path here okay they're they're encouraging you to stay positive for you to get ready for the next journey for yourself and to stay aligned okay so some of you guys might be going through a huge shift and that's why this tower is coming in is because it's shaking up your world in order for you guys to get rid of that does nothing that does nothing for you guys so in order for you guys to be able to make that shift hermit mode and and um being in solitude for the next little while would be able to help you guys out, especially for the fact that giving up on things that no longer serve you guys, okay? So you guys might be at literally at a crossroad right now, removing one life of yours and going to the next life that that is meant for you guys on your purpose. Everybody has a purpose in life. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer for you to find out what your purpose is, and that's absolutely fine. When the day comes and you find out what your purpose is, it's it's meant to be at that exact moment. Never think that you're behind in life because it's not true. Nobody's behind. Everybody blooms at the end of the day. Some people bloom fast. Some people bloom a little bit slower. But at the end of the day, how you choose to look at it, it's in your hands at the end of the day though, Virgos, okay? We all bloom. We all just bloom at different times. And that's why we are all so perfectly imperfect as well, all right? So keep your head up. While you guys are going through all this dark stuff at the moment, okay? Coming with the Six of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you guys might be having a little bit of financial difficulties at the moment. Coming with the Ten of Pentacles. But Virgos, if you guys were dealing with a relationship that brought no balance into your life and, and was not good for you. It's saying you guys are going to continue to move on with yourselves. With the Six of Swords energy, you guys might be a little bit fearful and not so strong at the moment it's saying here that it's time for you guys to get balanced two of pentacles in reverse you guys might be getting a little bit agitated a little bit annoyed um feeling weak as well make sure you guys are drinking plenty of water and eating your nutrients virgos don't eat anything that you're not allergic to only eat things that you that you like okay only eat things that you guys like and and, and to make you guys strong okay because with the five of pentacles in reverse it would it would have been the five of pentacles upright at one point you guys were not taking care of yourselves you guys were not taking care of yourselves. So it's time to, that you guys actually start taking care of yourselves here, okay? You guys might be going through a little bit of of like stress, non-sleep. Maybe some of you guys are really not sleeping at all here either, all right? Uh, with the five of wands in reverse, mm, Virgos, you guys are just getting tired of anybody who's trying to fight with you, pro uh, causing problems here for you. But it's saying here that your happiness is right around the corner. Sometimes we have to go through darkness. It's like the yin and yang, <laughs> We have to have the dark in order to have the light. 
we're not just going to always have light, light, light. There has to be some sort of darkness, okay? So please remember, Virgos, that it's okay to go through darkness. You're going to overcome it and everything is going to be okay. You need to be strong and continue to push forward because your battles are, you're stronger than your battles. Do you see what I'm saying here? You're stronger than your battles. So your battles are going to be done and then you go continue to go straight with the sun card there to your happiness, okay? Somebody here might be watching you spy on you. are just very curious about you here, Virgo. Somebody here has a black vehicle. They are watching you here as well, okay? They're seeing you reach your prosperity and your happiness here too. Lover's card, Gemini energy, three of wands in reverse to the page of cups. Somebody here might be emotionally immature or they're just emotionally unbalanced I hear as well they're just a daydreamer is what I'm picking up like they daydream about you all the time it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn a Gemini three of cups in reverse a seven of pentacles someone here is looking at the things that they've invested this is might be a very materialistic person Virgos but at the same time you guys might need to be going into solitude with the four sword retreating just taking care of yourselves too it's very important that you you take care of yourself somebody here also does a lot for other people and 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 I'm happy for you guys, Virgos, you know, continue to be that light that you guys shine on people and always being there for people as well. But also don't forget to take care of yourselves at the same time. Don't ever forget that. New beginnings are coming towards you here, Virgos, because your manifestations are coming to fruition now. You guys have been patiently waiting for everything to come for you guys, Virgos. You guys have been also silent about it because you guys know that the truth is going to be coming to fruition. The truth is going to be coming to light. In the future, uh, the high priestess, she is saying that there is going to be a new love offer that's coming towards you guys. I don't know why she's telling me to say that, but she told me to tell you guys that you have somebody coming in for you guys. Uh, Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. A lot of you guys are wanting this new beginning for yourselves. And some of you guys might be trying to like still hold on to the things that you guys had to go in and endure. So some of you guys may also not be open to new love, Four of Cups, right? Because you guys have been through so much pain. There could have also been a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who hurt you really, really badly here, Virgos. But even though they may love you or you love them, you guys have been through a lot of darkness with this person. Especially an Aries Leo Sagittarius here who may have had a lot of secrets uh, on you or vice versa. Um, there's somebody here who's very deceptive on you, Virgos. Pisces and Aries Leo Sagittarius. It looks like Virgos, there's, there's Cancer Pisces Scorpio has done a number. Whether this they did a number on you or the fact that they also have gone through so much pain themselves here too. But they choose to be a stronger person. And it doesn't look like that this person here wants to tell you about the things that they had to go through in their life. Remember what I said before? What's done in the past, just leave in the past. If you guys are going to get into a new relationship, just continue to move on from there. You don't want to give people the opportunity to hurt you the exact same way that the past has hurt you. Do you see what I'm saying? That's why I tell you guys that. Don't give people the opportunity to know your pain so that way they can go and hurt you the exact same way. Some people will be like that and some people will not be like that. Right? Especially very early in the in, in the relationship too. So this person here may have been really, really hurt and betrayed because they give a lot of love to people with the Knight of Cups energy, like their their love is very uh, sincere, Knight of Cups, and they are very passionate too, but they have a lot of, this is a very mysterious person, Virgos, very, very mysterious, it'll be very hard to figure this person out, uh, Ten of Cups energy, okay? So Virgos, you guys are going to continue to stand in your power and continue to focus and do the work for yourselves, Ten of Cups, Six of Pentacles, everything's going to be balanced out for you, somebody here, is going to be getting a raise in their pay, a promotion. <sighs> so sorry, Virgos. <laughs> somebody here is going to be getting a promotion. Uh, somebody here is also going to be getting a pay raise. Uh, their salary is going to be going up. Uh, congratulations here for you, Virgos. Okay. Uh, seven of Swords. Make sure, Virgos, that when people find out that you guys are getting these things coming into your life, that they don't end up becoming the Seven of Swords energy, like wishing you happiness, but really they're not happy about it and they kind of give you the evil eye because maybe you got in it and then they didn't, but it is justice because you guys do a really, really good job at what it is that you do. So you guys deserve the pay that you actually you you put in the work, you're going to get a pay raise. It's, it's 100. You spend overtime hours at work, you're going to get a pay raise. It's just it's just realistic. <laughs> 
And Nine of Pentacles, which is going to bring you guys into a, so much success, so much money, Virgos. You guys got a lot of money on your way. Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and Nine of Pentacles. Oh, my God. Your victory is here. You guys are winning at life. Congratulations, Virgos. And that's because that's justice. The universe is bringing in justice for you guys. They're balancing everything out. You guys are such loving people. With the Queen of Wands, Virgos, you guys are such... You really are a very loving person. Like, people love to be around you. People see you as someone who's very, very beautiful and also very, very loving at the exact same time. They see you literally like a beam of light with the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Cups energy, Virgos. And you guys are literally winning at life. And a lot of people don't want this for you. Seven of Swords. People don't actually want to see you become so independent. They don't want that for you, right? That's why the Seven of Swords is behind the Three of Pentacles. Just watch your back from people who are who are like, yeah... Go Virgos, go Virgos, go. But they're not really down for you. Like, no Virgos, no Virgos, no. Like, you don't want people like that around you. You want people to lift you up, cheer you up. You want people who are going to be down for you. You see me? Uh, but little do these people know that that's justice for you, for all the good that you put out into the world. Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, victory is coming towards you, Virgo. Some of you guys might be going into a new direction with the full card there. Aries energy, it looks like a new relationship is coming towards you guys. Higher up into the Empress energy there as well. A new relationship is coming for you guys, Virgos. And it is going to be a very successful relationship coming with the Six of Wands, Page of Pentacles. This person's going to have a gift that they're going to want to offer you. And you guys are going to need to call judgment with the Empress to the judgment card. Are you guys ready for this new relationship? Because it looks like it's coming in for you guys. So, like I said, you know, sometimes you got to get your money right, with work right, career right, get yourself right before the love comes in. And it looks like it's going to end up happening for some of you guys here, Virgos. And, you know, you deserve it. You know what I mean? Uh, Eight of Wands. Things are going to start picking up and moving a lot faster for you because you guys had a vision and you guys continued to focus, focus on what it is that you guys had wanted, right? Um, but at the same time, when it comes that this relationship comes for you guys, you guys might be a little bit indecisive. However, though, however, uh, this person does have an offer to make for you. Do expect a message coming in from this person. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Aries, a Libra, uh, the world card. Maybe this person might be a little bit of distance away from you, but they're willing to give you the world, <laughs> right? Then there's going to be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here, Virgos, who is really struggling at the moment. This person moves very fast when they... they, they whether this is your energy or their energy, it's just the fact that this person needs to be brave and they want to be brave here as well. But they put themselves in the Eight of Swords energy, which slows them down a whole lot. So it's like this person's ready to take action and, and come towards you with communication and be brave. And, and, you know, and then all of a sudden they get into their head and then they're just like, okay, hold on, let me just... Because it's a, it's a, this is a very perfectionist type of, this is a very meticulous type of person. They want to do everything perfectly, Virgos. They want to be cautious with how it is that they're going to be coming in and communicating with you. All right. So for that, eight is, nine, nine of swords, eight of swords, nine of pentacles. They want to come rushing in, but then they get into their head and they slow, start slowing down nine of pentacles because they just need to uh, see for themselves like if, if this is what they're saying to you is right, how they want to say to you, how they want to communicate, okay? Ace of pentacles. So do expect them to come towards you, a page of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, eventually they're going to come in towards you, they're going to express themselves to you, <sighs> and then they're going to uh, literally take action, king of swords, and they're going to tell you exactly what's going on and how they feel, Virgos, all right, some of you guys may have even blocked this person, this specific energy here, seven of sword energy, um, but with the nine of cups, they see you as a wish fulfillment, you guys may not let this person come near you, you know what I mean, but they might have to try and fight to get your attention here as well because this person has stagnated the connection between the two of you guys for a very long time. You guys may have even been patiently waiting for this person to come back, but at the same time, they've been really, really hopeful, Aquarius energy, and they might be a little bit intimidated and fearful of what it is that you're going to say, but when you guys are going to be talking to each other, this person is, in fact, going to be sitting down while you guys are standing up, okay? So this is how you guys are going to be standing, like standing, you're literally going to be standing and then this person's going to be sitting down. It's for the ones who are going to be seeing them face to face, all right? Um, you guys have been carrying a lot of burden, but it's saying here to continue to have the faith, continue to be looking into the future, continue to still have hope, Virgos, always have hope, you know? Um, but you guys have been through a lot. You guys do carry a lot of dark energies around you that you shouldn't be doing that. You guys need to release, cut, clear, and delete completely from all negative energies that are that you're absorbing around you 
uh, Six of Cups. There might be a Capricorn here who is obsessed on you, who is... I'm picking up with the Nine of Wands, Devil, and the Six of Cups that this person is going to continue to come towards you and push for you because they might be a little bit lustful or obsessed over you or even missing you for that matter. But this person has like some sort of tie towards you, Virgos as well, and they're going through a lot of confusion at the moment because they're definitely heartbroken and and they see you as someone who's very very beautiful temperance card there they see you as someone who's incredibly beautiful and and they want to make the relationship work they're hoping virgos that they can express their love to you cancer pisces scorpio there this person adores you very very much and some of you guys may end up walking away from this person and putting a complete end to it but you guys are in fact a soulmate connection but you might have your eye on somebody else right so it looks like the past wants to come back for you because they love you, but then you have your eye on somebody else with the Emperor card right there. Uh, this person doesn't really know how to express themselves here, Virgos, but at the end of the day, uh, you guys are going to continue to manifest the things that you guys want. You guys are going to continue to create, be continue to be that loving person that you guys are as well. Um, it could be also a Scorpio, an Aries, a Libra, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here, Virgos. <sighs> but at the end of the day, it looks like your back is literally towards this King of Cups, who is your soulmate. And you might have, and you might be focusing on somebody else that will be coming into your future. But uh, at the end of the day, though, Virgos, you guys are going to continue to manifest and be creative and do what you need to do. Um, ultimately, is in your hands. And it's going to be in, in uh, you're going to have to make that decision. You guys are going to be going through a little bit of a rough time at the moment here. But I promise you, everything is going to be okay. Continue to keep your head up and stay positive. Thanks, Virgos. Bye.